64-year-old Richard Caswell is watching his grandson Ethan, number 12, play basketball. Caswell enjoys a close game and cheers for his grandson's team. He's just glad to be here after battling heart disease since 1994. i got 13 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. I don't want to be around for a few more. Caswell and his wife Jeannie, who has chronic lung disease, have been through a lot. He's had quadruple bypass surgery and three heart catheterizations, but his last heart cath procedure was by far the easiest. I would recommend the uh, procedure in the arm. You're not uh, confined. You can get up out of bed if you want, but if you're doing the one through the groin, you got to lay there, like I said, for 24 hours. Caswell's cardiologist, Ibrahim Fassa, says 70% of the heart catheterizations he does today are through the transradial artery in the wrist. He says it's easier to access than the femoral artery in the groin, especially if the patient is overweight. And when the procedure is done through the wrist, it's easier to stop the bleeding. The procedure through the groin requires heavy pressure over the incision when the catheter is removed, and the patient must lie flat on their back for several hours, perhaps even overnight. There is a lot lower risk of complication, such as the bruise and the groin hematoma, and even patient can get off their table right away as soon as it's done with the procedure. And Dr. Fassa says the transradial procedure doesn't necessarily mean an overnight stay in the hospital. You come as outpatient, get your uh, catheterization and possible angioplasty through your right wrist or radial artery and if it is, everything goes well, you, you stay in the hospital for two to four hours and then you go home and sleep in your own bed. And for Caswell, less time in the hospital means more time doing what he wants to do. For more information about this procedure, go to NortonHeartCare.com or call 629-1234. For Get Healthy, I'm Jackie Hayes.